Hello everyone, Matias from Unstoppable Domains here. In this video, we are going to walk through the Who Is service. The Who Is service gives you the opportunity to add a contact address to your domain and gives you the opportunity to add an icon to your domain, letting other users know whether it's for sale or not. Let's jump right into it. First thing you wanna do is go to this left-hand corner, select this icon, select My Domains. This is just a test account that we made for this tutorial. So I'm gonna select escrow example 002, I'm gonna press manage. Now you'll see we're on the management page where you can add your crypto addresses. And now you can also add contact information through the Whois service. So first thing you wanna do, if you want to make your email public in association with a particular domain is now I'm on the management page for escrow example 002. And in this example, I want people to contact me about my domain and i want to make sure that this information is available and public so what i'm going to do is add the email address that i would want people to contact me from so i'm going to add matthias at unstoppable domains.com and in this case i am interested in selling this domain so what i'm going to do is select this box just to make sure everyone is aware this information that the domain is for sale and the fact that I can be contacted at Matias at unstoppabledomains.com in regards to this domain is going to be public and it is going to be on the blockchain, right? When I click save changes here, this transaction is now in queue and this information is being pushed to the blockchain in association with this domain. This is what it will look like when the transaction does go through. Here's an example I did earlier. I created a uh, a who is information for escrow dash test one, two, three. I signaled that the domain is for sale. So it shows up like this. And then in the contact owner field, it now shows that Matthias at unstoppabledomains.com is the email address to contact if you're interested in escrow test one, two, three dot zil. Back to escrow example 002. The transaction is still going through. This will take a few minutes, but once it does go through, it will look something like this. When someone searches the domain, they'll see that the sale icon is available, which means that this domain is for sale. And if they select contact owner, the email address that I entered will show up here. Hello, everybody. In this next part of the video, we're going to show you how to put your domain into a smart escrow. A smart escrow allows you to safely and securely transfer a domain to another user and receive funds. So let's go through that process now. In this example, we're going to go back to escrow example 002.zil, and I'm selling this domain to my friend Ryan. So we're going to go through this process. We're actually going to do it in real time, so you'll be able to see exactly how this works. So what I want to do is select manage. Now I'm back on the management page and I want to select smart escrow. The smart escrow is a smart contract that allows you to put your domain in a smart contract and then a buyer deposits funds into that smart contract, sending the funds to the seller and the domain to the buyer. So let's go through this process. Your payment address, which you'll see automatically linked here, it's automatically linked because my wallet is linked to my account and Unstoppable has operator access. So by doing that, your payment address is already gonna be linked here, but just to clarify, your payment address is just your owner address. This is where your domain is currently stored. Next, we're gonna add the buyer's email address. So the reason you wanna add the buyer's email address is because we're gonna put in a system where the buyer will be able to receive a notification when these things happen to make sure the process is smooth and straight to the point for everybody. So in this case, I'm selling it to Ryan. So I'm gonna add Ryan's email with Unstoppable Domains, which is ryan at unstoppabledomains.com. Now, many of you are probably thinking, well, what if I don't know the buyer? Well, that's why we have the Whois service. So you have a contact address where the buyer can contact you. The reason this is built into the system is to avoid a term that we're using called sniping. So what that is, is when you add a domain for sale on the blockchain, this is publicly available and transparent, and this can prevent another party from jumping in there and buying the domain when you really meant to send it to somebody else. 
So to do this, we have the smart escrow contract, which only works with the information that you provide. So I'm providing Ryan's email, and then most importantly, Ryan's Zilliqua address. So this is the address that Ryan is gonna send funds from to purchase this domain. And through the Whois service, Ryan and I agreed to a sale amount of 10 Zill. Next thing I'm gonna do is select create contract. Next, I'm going to upload my key store and enter my passphrase. Once I do that, the transaction will go live on the blockchain and we'll pick up from there for the next step. And now that the transaction has gone through, you can see our smart escrow contract summary here with all the details. And all you need to do is deposit your domain. And this will require another upload of the key store entering the passphrase and then the transaction will go through. And now the domain is going to be on the buyer side and the buyer will need to fulfill the payment to then receive the domain and you as the seller will receive the funds. After you deposit your domain, this is the screen you're gonna see. You'll probably notice this is a different domain than what I've been using in the video. I forgot to include this part, but I definitely thought it was important to get this in there. So. Here you'll have your smart contract escrow summary with a link. This is the link you wanna copy and send to the buyer. And in the next part of the video, we're gonna show you what happens when the buyer opens up this link and what it looks like when the buyer purchases the domain that you listed in the smart contract and also what it looks like when the buyer claims that domain. And now we're gonna walk through what happens on the buyer side. So we send Ryan the link to the domain that we just listed in the escrow smart contract. So in this case, it's escrow example 002.zil. Ryan opens that link and he's gonna move forward and complete his purchase. So the first thing he needs to do is fund his wallet, which is entering his key store and passphrase and opening his wallet. He is then going to make his payment. This transaction is gonna go through on the blockchain. Once that payment is complete, He's going to have the opportunity to claim his domain and that's it. Congratulations. The domain has been purchased and now Ryan's going to go to his, my domains page and show you the domain is now in his account. So it's left my account and has entered his account because he's completed his purchase. So what we're going to do in the next video is show you on the seller side, where the funds go and how you can access them. Now that we have successfully completed the sale, let's move forward with accessing the funds that we received in exchange for the domain. As you can see here, escrow example 002.zil is no longer in our account. It is in Ryan's account because the sale is complete. And now we wanna access the funds that Ryan sent us in exchange for the domain. When you created your smart contract escrow, you may have noticed that the payment address is also the owner address for your account. You can verify this address by going to your settings page and looking right here in the wallet area. This is the address where the funds Ryan sent us for the domain currently are. So in this video, we're gonna show you how to access this address so you can access the Zilliqua that you received in exchange for your domain. To do this, we're gonna use Zillit. So you'll notice when you go to Zillit, you can import a key store file. The same way you import your key store and enter your passphrase, just like our website, you're gonna do that here. I already did this for my wallet on this tab right here. So you'll see I've entered my key store and passphrase. It has unlocked my wallet so we can verify that the addresses are the same. See here, here. So I'm currently in my wallet and then here's my balance. So I had a few Zilliqua in here before, but this now has the Zilliqua that I received in exchange for the domain escrow example 002.zil. So that is how you go through the entire process from who is to smart contract escrow, to selling your domain, the buyer side, and then withdrawing your funds. As always, if you have any questions, please send us a message in our Telegram channel, or you can send an email at support at unstoppabledomains.com. Thank you, everybody, and take care.